Every day, police worldwide must address new threats in international crime and work together to make the world safer. Interpol has strengthened its global reach with a new presence in Asia, complementing the General Secretariat in France and its regional offices across the world. In this way, the organization can better represent and serve the 190 countries that form its global membership. Located in Singapore, the Interpol Global Complex for Innovation IGCI, is a research and development facility equipped with the latest tools and technology to combat international crime. In the Interpol Digital Crime Center and through our research lab here at the IGCI, we're looking at emerging technologies, how criminals are using new technologies to advance their causes. It provides a neutral, secure platform to bring together different private partners from private industry as well as uh, from academia to share information, to stay ahead of the technology curve so we can be a supplement to law enforcement around the world. One of its iconic facilities is the Cyber Fusion Center, which provides real-time monitoring and analysis of threats within cyberspace. It can deploy digital forensic support teams to assist investigators in the field. Operation Strike Back first started when we first learned about the full extent of the online sextortion threat at one of our regional working groups where the online sextortion threat was presented. And we saw that this particular threat was a worldwide phenomenon. It affected thousands of victims across the world, different age ranges, different backgrounds. After getting acquainted with the victims and successful exchange of online chat conversations, they will invite and further entice their would-be victims to use video call to engage in cyber sex and this will be recorded unknown to the victim. We had a tragic incident uh, last July when young Daniel Perry uh, committed suicide after being the victim uh, of an online extortion uh, and that alerted us to uh, the growing trend of uh, online extortions being perpetrated both within the UK um, but I guess made us search further in terms of the international aspect of that. What resulted out of that was a formation of a cyber task force that Interpol led. And that task force comprised of the Philippines National Police, Hong Kong Police Force, law enforcement entities from the United Kingdom, as well as Australia and the United States. I think that level of cooperation for an international operation takes a huge amount of effort across jurisdictions with different people working, sometimes in slightly different ways, but in this case, everybody was working towards the same aim. We wanted to tackle the criminality that we knew was having a really significant effect on a large number of communities across the world. What was key to this, though, is that we brought together private industry. Facebook had a lot of the information that was key to this investigation, that had information about the actual criminal syndicates that were operating out of the Philippines. What normally would have taken months, if not longer, happened within weeks. The Philippines National Police did a series of raids around the Philippines where they, uh, they apprehended a number of these suspects in these criminal syndicates that were conducting this online sextortion. Essentially, they were targeting their victims using social media, befriending the victims, and then enticing them to conduct lewd acts that were recorded by webcam, and then subsequently those victims were blackmailed. We focused in on a particular group uh, with other evidence gathering and intelligence, coordinated by Interpol, and then the lead being taken by the Philippines National Police. We had our digital forensic experts on site that conducted some of the digital forensics in partnership with Celebrite, one of the world's leading mobile forensic companies that provided that key digital forensic expertise, which uncovered even more information about these particular criminal syndicates. It's fantastic to see that an organization like Police Scotland can be a part of such a large-scale, wide-ranging international operation that can have a real impact on criminality who I strongly suspect thought there was little chance of being detected as they were targeting people literally on the other side of the world. Innovation in technology is our best ally. Through innovation, partnerships and the practical application of research, the IGCI will help member countries better cope with advanced crime threats. Operation Strike Back showed us that it could be a model going forward, that now it was online sextortion, but in the future it could be some other cyber activity. But we could bring together, using that same model, both law enforcement as well as the private sector or academia to form a collaborative relationship. Cooperation between Kaspersky Lab and uh, new cyber division of Interpol uh, sees as well only one 
and right way how to address this issue, how to investigate cybercrime in a cyberspace. Our ability to read the code, to take the data from the internet, uh, to trace the steps, and uh, from Interpol its ability to work internationally, to be connected with cyber divisions in 190 nations. Uh, so I think that uh, in this way, uh, the computer incidents will be investigated much, much faster. Coming at the same problem from different angles, will lead to innovative ways to solve problems which otherwise may never be identified. Our partnership with the IGCI means that we can ensure our know-how and expertise is aligned with law enforcement to help police bring these criminals to justice. With innovation, research and technology on our side, Interpol will remain at the forefront of the fight against transnational crime.